Okay, Aries, <clears throat> I did like a little meditation reading uh, for you. So what's on fire, it, really what I'm getting more so is your mentality, your philosophy, your outlook. Um, you know, I'm getting very like man on fire vibes, but more so like your mindset, your your philosophy, your outlook, your options, cutting out that which kind of takes away the magic of your outlook on things because you are bringing some heavy hitter energy, some real shooter type shit where you're willing to cut out relationships that you have to fight with and fight for that you no longer, you know, you don't have it in your heart because you are already fighting for your life and for certain like, just, you know, dumbass um, to take it back to grade school relationships you're just like nah dude I don't see you with me moving in the future that could be friends that could be loved ones family the people that you don't see with you for the long haul for the duration ten of pentacles in the reverse knight of pentacles moving forward you're like nah man I'm not even <clears throat> I'm not even about that and it's almost as if you're realizing that those individuals may even have like low vibe or low frequency towards you. And so long story short, what you're experiencing in cutting out those relationships, two of cups, five of swords, um, is growing pains. But what is promised, what is assured is your freedom and your enlightenment of the situation, cutting out relationships enlightenment freedom hanged man in the, in the reverse hanged woman in the reverse and the empress giving birth to authentically joyous times wish fulfillment times even if it's me myself and i you're still going to get you know that kind of um you know wish fulfillment whatever you want to call it um, it's going to make that kind of grand prize that much sweeter, you know. And so for every, basically for every like negative charge that you feel, that you incur, that you experience, guess what? There's an equal and opposite payoff. Um, and that could even be, you know, you walking down the street, feeling self-conscious, feeling like all eyes are on you or... Um, picking up on someone's sad or negative energy like that is literally the physical human embodiment experience of the charge so to speak and so normally we tell ourselves that that's bad because we're feeling a negative charge <clears throat> but when you have the mindset that no that's actually good because that means that there is a payoff or equal opposite reward to fill that space, you know? So it's kind of like, you know, like in wrestling, they used to call it like heat seekers, uh, you know, like WWF, WCW, where people are like looking for drama, you know what I'm saying? And also like on social media. So what I'm saying is that you could go about your daily life and live like that without being toxic because it's gonna happen anyways and so your job is to notice when it happens and also a side note notice when there are kind of like out of pocket awesome moments and focus on that it's not always about the kind of you know writing down on paper so and so won you know the game or whatever like that like if your sports team loses, focus more so on that awesome, amazing moment um, instead of the actual loss, because that is how it, that's an example of jumping into a higher timeline. Instead of feeling, I'll give you a quick anecdotal example. When I was I was watching the Bulls preseason game right now against the Milwaukee Bucks, like two seconds left, game on the line. Guy dunks an amazing uh, dunk slam uh, instead of like going for the three. More time runs out, and then they lose the game. I now me as an individual, it's a, it's I'm given the choice of the portal that I want to jump through. 
do I get mad and angry that the team lost or do I say wow that's an amazing glimmer of hope of light of let's say God because anytime awesomeness shines through an individual act or experience or what we're witnessing we're seeing that glimmer so I want you to go through that portal because those awesome moments are literally portals into the higher dimension the higher quantum timeline where shit is like electric magnetic exciting and amazing and that's what this fucking life is about so and all that you you know you manifest in turn so light and love to you guys if you guys want a one-on-one reading feel free to uh reach out my number is always available you can send a text message we could do a rec- pre-recorded or live reading we could do it over the phone or video, text, email, whatever you feel most comfortable with. Um, I usually charge like $2 a minute for the professional websites that I read for, but um, I'm flexible on prices. I usually range a reading around like $15, something like that. So I try to keep it reasonable. I try to give you the bang for the buck, bang for the doubt. So love you guys. Um, hope you enjoyed this. Let's move on to Taurus. Peace.